I'm 68 years old. This is a story about me. I was born in Gastoni in Greece. It took three days by air to bring our family to Australia. We came to Adelaide in 1957. I was seven when the Queen Mother passed by our school in 1958. I was the only one who didn't get a flag that day. I felt a little excluded. We became Australian citizens in 1964. The Beatles went by Adelaide Boys High School and our headmaster declared a half holiday. Everybody copied the Beatles in those days, me too. We moved and I went to Enfield High School. Australia is a land of opportunity. I was an auto electrician, a linesman and a porter before I joined the army. After that, I was a hippie out bush and I was an artist. In 1983, I enrolled in a course in journalism but did not complete it. I worked for some community newspapers to gain experience and I started two of them in Queensland. I met my wife in 1986. She had two young children, boys, eight years and two years old, and we went bush. It was a tough life without electricity, having to empty the long drop, plant trees, grow a garden, fetch and carry water. One day my sons had tarried on the forest path too long after school. It had been raining in the mountains and they were caught in a flash flood. They hung onto a wire we had strung across the creek, but the water forced them off. In response to a call for help, I went after them down the creek. I jumped off a rugged height onto some rocks and buckled my back. I kept going. I grabbed the little one onto my shoulder. All three of us were flushed downstream the force raising me waist high above the water. I prayed aloud and the willow tree, normally high on the bank, now offered a supple branch. I grabbed the branch and hauled the small boy onto the bank. Stretching towards the middle of the creek, I pulled the older one out too. Then all three of us went back across the creek on the wire. After this, I needed the support of my wife and a walking stick. Our oldest son was bitten by a death adder and was taken to hospital by a royal flying doctor. We moved to a small village where I started a community newspaper. I also worked at the local recycling station where I damaged my hand. The wear and tear of life was taking its toll. From 1993 to 1998, I was an independent candidate in local, state and federal elections. My policies included a bullet train between Adelaide and Darwin, a railway line between Carumba, Normanton and Cairns, the Bradfield water system, a bank taxation scheme and cannabis law reform. My brother died in 1995 and in 1999, we returned to Adelaide to support my parents. My father died in 2010. My sister entered mum, who is now 91, into a nursing home. My eyesight had been failing. My hair was greying and eventually I had to have dentures. I am an avid reader and I have my own theories and hypotheses. I like history, science and the unexplainable. In 2013, I wanted to complete my unfinished degree in journalism, but I did not want urgency, rush and competition. The passages of time decided me to make films instead. I enrolled in a degree course at the University of South Australia, McGill campus. I felt I could video a different view of history, but the technology had been unavailable earlier. This discipline, Bachelor of Media Arts, engenders freedom of creative expression and art form. I have enjoyed my courses immensely. 
it has all been quite challenging. Some were harder and more advanced than others and needed more time and practice. I have made 17 short films and five short animations and I participated in four other students' projects. Amongst my films are two documentaries promoting the South Australian Historical Tool Association, SATA. Two other documentaries relate to South Australia's Premier, Mr Don Dunstan. I have made four movies for Experimental Studio. I have made three movies for visual effects and two movies for narrative film. This is unusual at my age, but I take it at a pace an old man can handle. Yes, I'm getting old, but you're never too old to learn at whatever pace. I was told by someone older I should keep moving or I'd stop. I can't complain really. I won't complain. I value each day as a blessing. There's always something to learn, always something to do, and if there isn't, I'll find something to do. I have a comfortable home, a good wife, and a faithful dog who loves me. What more can an old man wish for? <laughs>